So again, in this case, it's not possible to integrate cosine to the third power, cosine y to the third power, um, in the usual sense. So again, let's change the water integration. So let's look at the region. Here, y goes first. So y is square root of x. So we look at this right here, y is square root of x. And then, from bottom to top, right? because we have y, so this is the bottom, and we go up to top. So we go like this, y is equal to 1. Okay, so bottom to top. And then we look at the x, which is right here. x is 0, and then this right here is x equals 1. So it's this region that we are talking about now. Okay, so it really depends. Be really careful. It's not this, it's that. All right, so how do we change it? If we want to change the order of the integration, then we switch this. We want the dx go first and then dy. If dx goes first, that means we want to look at this from left to right. So we want to draw a horizontal rectangle. That might be helpful. All right, so x starts with 0. That's good. But you see, this rectangle, it changes the horizontal length, right? And that changes y equals square root of x, meaning x is equal to y squared. How about y, though? y goes from 0 to 1. Nice. And then the function stays the same. We have cosine of y to the third power. Integrate this real quick. Let's, let's try this. Let's integrate this in our head. This is the constant in the x world. Integrating this, we just put the x. And then, oops, sorry. It should be y here. It should be y here. Put the x here. And then integrate. I mean, plug in y squared. So we will first have y squared and then cosine of y to the third power, yeah? And then plugging zero, it's just zero, that's nice. And then we have the dy here. Now, for this, let's just do a u sub. Let u equal y to the third power, so we need a one third here for the resolve integration. And then the integral of this is sine, and then we have y to the third power. And then we plug in, plug in, zero to one. So, ladies and gentlemen, one third sine of one change the water. Okay, let's see how it goes. So firstly, I will have to draw y is equal to the inverse tangent. So it looks like this, right? So I'll just say like, it has a horizontal asymptote. So this is y equals inverse tangent of x. And then y equals, so this is the bottom, to the top, y is equal to pi over 6. Let's say this is pi over 6. And then we go from 0, and this intersection, you can verify on your own, it's indeed 1 over square root of 3. Okay. So it's this huh? button to the top, button to the top, so it's like that. And now, we we'll change water, so horizontal rectangle right here. And let's just this and then secant to the fifth power y ah it's wrong color. Secant to the fifth power y dy dx. No, I have dy dx already. Why am I talking about dx dy? Sorry. Dx dy. Here we go dx, so from left to right, horizontal rectangle, start with 0. This is this function, meaning just go ahead and do x equals tangent of y. So here we have tangent of y. And then y goes from here to here, so it's 0 to power 6. Now, if, if is this any better? Yes, it is. Trust me. Here. 
integrate this thing in the x world and yeah let, let's just do that we just put x and we put a tangent yeah so first we have 0 to pi over 6 still at the front and then we have secant to the fifth power y times tangent y and the plugging through just nothing so that's what we have so we have the dy here how do we deal with this though let me tell you put out a secant so here integral going from 0 to pi over 6 secant to the fourth power y and then let's have secant y tangent y dy put u to be secant y derivative here is that so we can see this is one fifth secant fifth power y and we go from zero to pi over six what's secant of pi over six though okay pi over six is 30 degrees right here and then we will have one square root of three and two and secant is this over that so we are going to get one over five and then two over square root of three to the fifth power that's the first term yeah and then minus put three in here we get one so it's one over five secant of zero is one fifth power is one and multiply by that okay finally we just clean things up 2 to the 5th power is 32 square root of 3 to the 5th power is 3 times 3 is 9 because 2 of the 3 come out so 9 9 times 5 is 45 and then 1 more square root of 3 and then lastly minus 1 over 5 